Hey, it's Allison Schaff, Prep Dish Founder. Today I'm discussing 10 creative ways to use fresh herbs from your garden. So let me back up first. Um, one, preface this by saying I am not a master gardener by any means. Um, I have found that in general, herbs are a bit easier for me to grow. And as a background as a chef, I find that having fresh herbs on hand is, is really helpful um, and you know, I end up using them a lot more because they're just right out my back door. Um, the ones that I currently have in my garden, um, sage, so sage, my sage plant has gotten out of control. So I have um, sage, thyme, oregano, parsley, basil, Thai basil, mint, and then the one that I have the most of is rosemary. So I'm in Texas and rosemary bushes grow huge. So we have them all over our property. And so that's one that I have a plethora of. So you'll notice some of my tips um, include ways to use rosemary. So I've had to get creative there. And the nice thing about the rosemary is the deer also. It's deer resistant and we have a lot of deer. So that one doesn't have to be um, in a raised bed or with fencing or anything. It can just be out in the open. So um, there's that one. And all of those that I, I named, like I said, to me, they've all been fairly easy to grow. I mean, I'm sure at some point I've, I've killed a lot of them, but right now all of mine are, are doing pretty well. So let's go ahead and just jump right in. I do have a little list to the side. So if you see me looking over there, I'm looking at that, but I have my um, 10 ways to use them. So the first one I'm gonna start with is maybe a little more of an obvious one, but that's, um, it's kind of my go-to and that's for marinades. So any sort of marinade for a protein, I love using fresh herbs. And this one's great because pretty much any of those herbs that I listed, you can use in a marinade. So for the marinade, what I'm looking for is, well, one, the fresh herb, and then I'm gonna add some oils, like olive oil, and then some sort of acid. So that could be a vinegar or a citrus, so like lemon or lime. So like for cilantro, lime would go really well. Um, for the basil, I might use a lemon. Um, and maybe for the parsley, I use a balsamic vinegar. So that one's nice because it really, you can just get creative and kind of play around with whatever you want, but those fresh herbs are always gonna add so much more flavor. And I will use those marinades for anything from shrimp, chicken, um, other seafood, and then, you know, like a, any sort of uh, beef or pork, and you can just really go whichever direction you want. Uh, and then the Second one is, oh, as a flavoring for nuts, for snacking on. And this is something back to that rosemary that I was talking about. Um, I have a recipe for sweet and savory rosemary pecans, and those are really nice. Um, I've also done different fresh herbs. Like I think I've done my thyme on almonds before, and it's nice because you roast them and they kind of have a better, you know, this nice rich flavor and then the fresh herb just really comes out so um, fresh herbs on roasted nuts is um, my next one uh, number three is in salads so um, especially in the summer which is when my herbs tend to be doing the best um, on a nice fresh green salad of course the first one that comes to mind is a caprese salad with you know fresh um, basil and mozzarella and tomatoes, maybe from the garden too. Um, but you know, really any, if you have any fresh green salad, adding some nice chopped fresh herbs, maybe it's some fresh cilantro or parsley can really brighten that salad. And then um, it doesn't necessarily need to be a veggie salad. So another favorite of mine is um, like a mint, um, a watermelon mint and feta salad. Um, and that can either be just the fruit or um, on mixed greens with maybe some red onion. And um, that's a really nice combination as well. So you can also do fruit and fresh herb salads. Uh, number four is chimichurri. So chimichurri traditionally um, uses, I think I usually use flat leaf parsley, which I actually do not have in my garden right now. Um, but the nice thing with it is you can play around and use other fresh herbs. So if I'm doing that, I usually just use parsley since I do have that um, in my garden. And it's a really nice one to use um, with proteins, but also um, veggies as well. So I love to use roasted veggies dipped in like a chimichurri sauce. And I'll link a recipe below for that one. Um, Oh, number five is flavored waters. So this one's fun, um, adding a little, you know, I like to do kind of, I call them spa waters where you add like, you know, cucumber or melon or 
you know, some sort of fruit to the water. We can also add, I mean, mint is kind of the obvious one. So that one's really good adding some mint to your water. Um, but also things like basil go really nice in water and you can do it on your own or you can also pair it with like either cucumbers or some fruit. And it's basically just taking a pitcher, filling it with water and then adding in the fresh herbs and any, you know, veggies or fruit that you want to add as well. Um, letting that sit for, you know, at least a few hours, the, the flavors, you know, come out and then it, it just adds this really nice flavored water and really fun for entertaining too, especially in the summer if you want um, something a little different than just plain water. Okay, number, okay, so I'm at number six and this is, um, I kind of grouped this together. So soups, stews, and broths, um, they all do really well with adding fresh herbs. So um, sometimes you can add them at the beginning or the end. I especially like, um, if it's like a Mexican style soup or stew, I like adding fresh cilantro at the end. Um, and same thing for like an Asian or coconut milk based soup. I love adding either fresh chopped, uh, I have Thai basil or basil, or even sometimes cilantro goes really nice to finish that off. So those fresh herbs just really help to, um, brighten up those dishes a little bit. So, um, I, I love to have them on hand for that, but then also I make broth. And so, um, things like parsley or thyme, any of those herbs, um, more kind of the Italian ones go really well, um, in a broth. And so you can play around with that, um, adding those. And I would add those kind of at the beginning of making the broth. So the flavor is really, um, in there. Okay, number seven. Number seven is the main reason I love to grow basil in my garden, and that is pesto. So I love um, a pesto um, using it. I use pesto kind of like with chimichurri. It's just like a go-to of mine. And, um, you know, having fresh basil just makes it that much easier to make. Um, and I will say I don't always use basil. So like I have a cilantro pesto recipe that I really like. Um, you can use parsley. You can really play around with um, pestos and use a, a variety of, of different herbs. Um, the main thing is just kind of having, you know, the, the core pieces of like some nuts and some lemon juice, some garlic. Um, I will say the parm, so the Parmesan is a key ingredient, but I have made dairy-free pesto, you know, for prep dish meal plans and um, dairy-free pestos can turn out wonderfully too. So um, really a lot of flexibility um, there as well. Okay, oh, number eight. So. This kind of ties back to the broth. So I, about once a week or once every other week, we do a whole roasted chicken here at our house. Um, one of the reasons for doing that, so then I'll have the bones left over so that I can make broth. And when I do my whole roasted chicken, I love having all the fresh herbs because I can just go out and chop a bunch of them and stuff them all in the, the cavity of the chicken or even under um, the skin to really help the chicken have a nice herb flavor. And that's where you can just do a, a wide variety. So I'll get the rosemary, the sage, thyme, oregano, all of those and just um, stuff them in there. And it really helps um, add some flavor to the roast chicken. Okay, number nine is roasted veggies. So roasted veggies do really good with some fresh herbs thrown on. Um, Again, you could do it at the beginning or the end, but I think a lot of times at the end, it just really kinds of brightens things up. So, um, and here again, possibilities are endless, like, you know, fresh roasted, well, roasted carrots with um, some fresh chopped parsley on top is wonderful. Um, thyme is really good on a lot of different veggies. Um, fresh sage on sweet pota potatoes can be really nice. Um, rosemary and mashed potatoes is nice. So. There's just so many different combinations to um, play around with there, but I find having fresh herbs on hand just helps me to keep my veggies kind of um, fresh and new and, and have new variety. Okay, and then number 10 um, is as a garnish and also decoration. So I will say I'm probably better at the first. So garnishing, this is similar to what I said with the veggies, but just using it on plates, um, especially so if you're having guests, like a nice sprig of mint always is nice on any sort of dessert. Um, and you can do fresh herbs on um, plates as well to just kind of give it more visual appeal. And I also included decor in here. This isn't necessarily my specialty, but I have played around with um, 
for us the rosemary because we have so much, but we've cut you know big um, rosemary stems and use them around our kitchen or on our table um, over the holidays and it looks really nice and of course it smells really nice as well so that's something i played around with a little bit um, but could probably do more so oh and then one more thing this isn't one of the 10 but i just wanted to point out too if you're kind of looking for ways to use fresh herbs um, most of the time in recipes if it calls for dried herbs you can use fresh um, in place of that so that's kind of a good place to start if you're looking for you know what herb to use just um, swap them out um, although sometimes with the dried herbs you usually add those earlier on whereas the fresh if you want to keep that freshness to it you can add after the cooking versus before so and you'll also probably increase the quantity um, of the fresh compared to the dry but you know just play around with it and, and see what works for you so those are my 10 ways that i like to use fresh herbs for my garden i'd love to hear how you are using fresh herbs from your garden in the comments below um, please watch so I've got another video on sheet pan meals those meals are really good with some fresh herbs thrown in and then I'm also linking a video on faster meal prep if you enjoyed this video please like subscribe and share with a friend I will see you in the next one